bò lút lắc là có mì bò lút lắc nè hoặc là bò lút lắc không mì bò lút lắc thì xe được hay là muốn order thêm gì cơm chiên hay gì không một cái miếng cơm mì bò lút lắc cái cơm chiên cơm chiên cơm chiên cá mặn cái cơm chiên cá mặn này cái mì bò lút lắc ha cái bò lút lắc bò lút lắc không không có lấy mì ha cái cơm chiên cá mặn đi ngáo đi đi khỏi khỏi bái bà con chả giò hả Bên đây là sư lo Bây giờ Ok À, đây là kheo Ủa cái gì chị mới order đi anh đi Lá móc lên cái nát Lá móc lên cái nát Ông trả tiền mà trời Ông lên sư Thế rồi chứ thì Anh cứ cần bay Dù tuyết trắng đã chìm trong bàn đêm Cho dù tuyết trắng đã chìm trong bàn đêm Cho dù tuyết trắng đã chìm trong bàn đêm Tôi đi xem cái xin rất nhiều Và tôi đi xin nhiều bài xin hướng cho anh Jimmy Có bốn không? Có bốn không? Không, cái này không có nữa Hát nữa không anh hay là... Okay, I want to. We're gonna get this started. I'm trying to bring everybody to the middle, so we're not so separated. Okay, we have a few other people late scratching coming in. Chú Công sẽ bắt đầu cái người cái ngày đường nhiệt với cái 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 cả quốc ca. Okay. Vâng, cảm ơn luật sư Diêm Minh Phạm. Chúng tôi xin thì like why you like to get back because it's just a bad toxic environment up there. Okay, so he can't get anything done. That's why this is an opportunity for us to, uh, you know, for this election for me to run, because I think that when you get up, get me up there, we can bring back more for the community. Okay, we can bring back more funding. We can do public safety programs. We can get back more of our education. And I think this this is kind of outside a little bit of the community for me because they don't really see this. They just want to say, oh, we want to vote for somebody. What results are we going to get? And have has the incumbent done anything in the last two years? And we don't want to get into what he did in Westminster, okay? And um, the venue was large. I'm, I'm so happy. Uh, Andy E, who was the owner, who uh, I was connected. Andy E, you want to come up and say, say thank you for offering his uh, location. We just plenty of room, plenty of room, <laughs> uh, plenty of room from uh, last time when we had such a close quarters. And so I had to make sure we had a big one. And um, Alicia, who introduced me to NPE, is working for me in my law office. She's in the back somewhere, I think she's hiding. 
I can't really see back there, but she's in the back. So they were offering this, this location, and next time we'll plan two months ahead, we'll fill up this room. But I think we're pretty good today, okay? So um, I wanted to uh, mention some uh, elected leaders in the room, and I, I'm sure you guys got to eat first, which is great, because I'm going to invite them up to speak. We have City Council Member Carlos Monzo. Please uh, give a hand for Carlos and the stand up. And the City of Westminster, Carlos is fighting uh, uh, every two weeks, or probably every day, to keep our city um, intact. Um, we also have Cerrito City Council Member Frank Aurelio Yopigama, who's coming over. We came all the way from Artesia, and thank you, Frank, because it was a last minute invite. And again, we were just shooting things out last minute, so I'm glad every, everyone was able to show up today. We also, I think I saw in the room, uh, uh, Ocean View trustee Gina Clayton Tarvin. Gina. And Gina and I have become friends in the, in the last, uh, gotten closer in the last couple of months, and she took me out into a, she took me to a school in, I believe in Westminster, called Starview, and you couldn't believe the amount of what she did with this as a trustee. It looks like one of those new schools in Irvine in Westminster, she was able to use bond money from the state, which came, I think, about 2018, 2019, if I'm correct, and she can talk about that when she runs up here. We can change this community, okay? This is why I'm running. We can do better for the Vietnamese community. We can do better for the cities around here. We don't have to accept what it is just by voting for people that we are used to. There's a lot of good Vietnamese candidates now who are running. You know, we, we, we have Derek Tran who's running for Congress. We have myself who's stepped up to running for state assembly. We have other Vietnamese candidates. We need to look at who we are looking and voting for and make sure we're writing for the right people. And it's okay to have new fresh faces. It's okay for change. And I see a change in this community and that's why I'm running. And I'm glad that you guys are coming out to support. I want you guys to come out to my campaign office, which is right across the street. We have the signs up and we're gonna register voters. We're gonna help people about the fill up, you know, not fill up, I mean, we can't help you fill up the ballot, but you can, you know, people need to ask questions of who they're voting for because when they don't pay attention, the wrong people get into office, and then we have chaos in our community, and it's just not good, okay? So I thank you so much. I'm gonna invite Carlos Mazo to speak right now because he's uh, been a good friend of mine for a long time, and he's in a city that I know, and he also appointed me to the Western Traffic Commission. So, Carlos, thank you for appointing me and getting me in. Thank you, Jimmy. And thank you all for being here and supporting Jimmy and his campaign to uh, representatives up here in Sacramento. And if you heard what Jimmy was talking about, he made some really good points about who we are electing uh, here in Westminster. Unfortunately, for many, many years, we've had folks who are um, in it for the wrong reasons. They're in it for themselves. They're in it for their core group of the political circle that they're in. We can see it happening. Those are the kind of people are, we don't need. Myself, I'm going to just say, I'm a community guy. I'm not a politician.